Penny Frame has a lot to get ready in her classroom. Her focus is language arts, but like every teacher in Carbonado, she wears a lot of hats. I teach careers to 6th, 7th, and 8th in the afternoon. I teach an art class. I teach drama class. Across campus, Penny's sister, Paula, now the four-year-olds know what door is theirs, teaches early kindergarten and music. But it's awesome to get to know the whole population of school that's here. Only about 200 students attend through eighth grade here at Carbonado, and for a better part of the last two decades, practically each one has started with Paula and ended with Penny. Okay. They were students here themselves once. That's their artwork still hanging in the hallway. It's funny, people laugh at us sometimes. They're like, oh, sisters. <laughs> when kids laugh, they say, we can't get away with anything here. And we said, you don't want to get away with anything. You, you know, you want to thrive. You want to be successful. We actually have a waiting list for that parents would love to have their children attend our school. Maybe it's the small classes. Maybe it's just life in an old mining town where families go back generations. Whatever the case, those who come here to teach tend to stay. For me, this year is a special year just because I'm going to have all seven grandchildren in this school. I have gotten to teach all of my nieces and nephews, and it's huge um, to have roots that go down that deep, I think. As deep as the now abandoned mine shafts that started this town and its school more than a century ago. I feel blessed. I mean, this is where I'm supposed to be. I would not go to a bigger district. In Carbonado, Kel Thompson, Como News.